sometimes Hollywood gets it right and adapts a story perfectly. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most faithful movie adaptations. They take away his weapon. <laughs> Both of them. For this list, we're looking at film adaptations that adapted the plot, characters, and other various parts perfectly to create an excellent companion piece. Didn't you talk to me here in this house no. about sacrifice and sparing scandal? And for May's sake and for yours, I did what you asked! To be clear, we're not ranking these movies based on how good they are, but rather how faithful they are to their respective source material. Number 10, Mystic River. I'm sorry, as soon my as daughter's caught. It's my daughter's cut. This drama, directed by Clint Eastwood, was adapted from the novel of the same name by Dennis Lehane, and follows three childhood friends who reunite decades after a tragedy. Readers of the book thought Sean Penn's Oscar-winning performance conveyed the troubled character of Jimmy perfectly, and was one reason the film was so critically acclaimed. I can't even cry for my own little daughter, and I can't even cry for her. The screen version not only nails the characters and follows the plot of the novel, but also deftly portrays the grimy Boston area setting and the foreboding atmosphere of the book. I wasn't ready. It's an impeccable adaptation in both style and substance. Oh, no! No! Oh, God! Number 9. No Country for Old Men. <laughs> This Coen Brothers adaptation from acclaimed writer Cormac McCarthy's novel follows a man who finds a briefcase full of money and another who is tasked with finding it. Would you hold still, please, sir? Winner of the Oscar for Best Picture, it follows the plot of the novel almost exactly. What time do you go to bed? Sir? You're a bit deaf, aren't you? I said, what time do you go to bed? Even the crackling and menacing dialogue from the film is taken practically verbatim from the book, or seemingly so, including the famous gas station scene. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Sir? The most you ever lost on a coin toss. It's truly a visual representation of the novel, as everything remains the same in tone. How'd you find that? No, I'm not there. And yes, even that ending that frustrated so many viewers was taken directly from the book. Number 8. The Silence of the Lambs Good morning. Dr. Lecter, my name is Clarice Starling. This Best Picture winner was adapted from the novel by Thomas Harris and retains many of the same plot lines and characters, resulting in one of the greatest movies of all time. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Both novel and film follow FBI agent Clarice Starling as she tracks down one killer by enlisting the help of another killer, Dr. Hannibal Lecter. No, I came because I wanted to. People will say we're in love. Not only does the film follow the novel story, it also captures the complexity of the characters and the stomach-churning violence of the novel. Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Both versions were acclaimed in their own fields, and both create one terrific story. Wow, Clarice. Have the lambs stopped screaming? Number seven, The Hunger Games franchise. There's 24 of us, scale, only one comes out. And it's gonna be you. This film and novel series proved immensely popular, with the films raising Jennifer Lawrence into the upper echelons of stardom. <laughs> the stories follow Katniss Everdeen and her band of rebellious individuals as they attempt to overthrow the capital regime. This is the revolution, and you are the Mockingjay. The cinematic versions are extremely faithful to the novels, following the characters and storyline almost to a T. You're stubborn and good with a bow. That about sums me up. As with any series adaptation, though, there's bound to be some scenes cut for length and pacing reasons. But this series cuts are minimal, faithfully bringing Suzanne Collins' story to life. Thank you for your consideration. Number 6. Misery. 
My name is Annie Wilkes. One of Stephen King's most successful adaptations, Misery follows a famous writer who is held captive by a psychotic fan. You'll never realize what a rare treat you've given me. Kathy Bates embodies the seeming innocence and psychopathy of Annie, with many critics saying the role was perfectly cast. For a while, I thought I might go crazy. King initially refused the adaptation due to how Hollywood had treated his works in the past, but he eventually agreed. She can't be dead. Misery Chastain cannot be dead. It's now one of King's favorite adaptations, due to its close adherence to the plot and the brilliantly captured claustrophobic feel of the novel, not to mention the fantastic performances. I don't want her spirit! I want her! Number 5. Sin City Enjoy the show. It's hard not to be a good adaptation when you literally take frames and dialogue straight from the source material. You really are pushing your luck, Padre, feeding me garbage like that. This movie was adapted from various graphic novels by Frank Miller and follows several distinct stories of violence and redemption. Oh, sugar. You just gone and done the dumbest thing in your whole life. Notable for its comic book look, Sin City was shot in full color but converted to mainly black and white to better mimic its comic counterpart. That the best you can do, you pansies. Faithfulness to the source material was at the forefront of the mind of its creator, Robert Rodriguez. As he stated, this is, quote, a translation, not an adaptation. What have you done? Exactly what I had to. Every step of the way. Number 4. The Harry Potter Franchise You're a wizard, Harry. Spanning 10 years and 8 movies, the Harry Potter film franchise has become a worldwide phenomenon, thanks in no small part to the creator's faithfulness to the novels. Your parents fought against him, but nobody lived once he decided to kill him. Famously following Harry as he discovers and grows up in a wizarding world, the movies do the story complete justice. After tonight, no one will ever again question my power. Even better, they also capture the magical look and feel of the wizarding world and the mesmerizing lore that comes with it. It spoke of a boy born at the end of July. Yes, but he thinks it's her son. He intends to hunt them down now to kill them. While some criticized the movies for cutting too much out from the novels, they nevertheless remained extremely faithful to the basics of J.K. Rowling's story. You've been so brave, sweetheart. Number 3. To Kill a Mockingbird Good afternoon, Mr. Bowes. This movie is based on the classic Pulitzer Prize winning novel that everyone had to read in school, and follows a young girl named Scout as she grows up in the racist culture of 1930s Alabama. You never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view. The film precisely follows the novel's story and nails the themes of racial injustice and the loss of innocence. You'd like to say goodnight to Jim, Mr. Arthur? Author Harper Lee praised the film, calling it a work of art. And the visuals on screen create a terrific counterpart to the novel. Because it was guilt that motivated her. It may be the rare exception of a film being better than the book. In our courts, all men are created equal. Number 2. The Lord of the Rings Franchise We are hobbits of the Shire. Adapting J.R.R. Tolkien's world-famous novels, this trilogy proved that you can transfer the imaginations of readers onto the screen and still keep the essentials perfectly intact. I am Gandalf the White. We watch in awe from the moment Frodo begins his journey to Mount Doom to destroy the One Ring, and that sense of awe never fades. They stole it from us, my precious. While the films cut out sections from the novels for pacing, they keep a large majority of the story intact and are just as visually wondrous as any pictures you may have imagined. You shall not pass! Not only do they nail the story, but every aspect of Middle-earth is beautifully adapted, making this a fantastic transfer from page to screen. Bloody, you fools! Before we look at our most faithful adaptation, here are a few honorable mentions. What do they say? If you had to sum it up, they say I'm insane. <laughs> no, it's okay, you can nod, because it's true. I am insane.
Never speak a word of love to me again. Never. On my honor. Suck my fat one, you cheap dime store hood. Come on! Come on! Come on! Number one, 300. This is Sparta! We guess Hollywood just loves Frank Miller's comics so much that they don't feel the need to change anything. They look thirsty! <laughs> well, let's give them something to drink! 300 tells the historical story of the Spartans who held off Persian advances in Greece and is adapted shot for shot from the comic book. Give them nothing, but take from them everything! While there was a subplot added for the movie, it's otherwise a direct translation of the book, dialogue and all. Spartans! Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. But tonight, we dine in hell! They even filmed the movie using special technology to reproduce the unique visual style of the comics. They're clumsy beasts. Adaptations don't get much more direct than this. Do you agree with our list? It won't do. What adaptation do you think is the most faithful? Almost done. Just one more. For more informative top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. That really sucks.